Bum 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 bum. Tomatoes. Hello, welcome to the video for what is Git Pointer Index. Git Pointer Index is a node that requires a pointer event structure or an input structure event that will tell us which pointer index was put down. Okay, so that's slightly confusing to say, but let me show you what I mean. I'm using my computer and I click and it gives me back zero. This is indicating in my array, it is the first index. It's my first input down. If I was using a touch screen and I had, for example, I pushed a finger down and then I pushed another one down and got the index of that second event, I'm going to get back a one. And it's going to repeat two, three, four, all the way down. Zero through nine, basically indicating up to 10 points of input for your 10 fingers. It's important to note in regards to that because if I was to go back to our project settings, right now I have used mouse for touch turned on. So my mouse is emulating touch. If I disable that and go back to mouse input only, and then now hit play on my example, we're going to get 10. The index for the first mouse is 10. Now, I say first mouse, but I'm actually lying. If you hook up multiple mouses and do this, it's still going to give you back 10 because there's still only one pointer. So keep in mind, this is basically unique forms of input that have their own unique indicator, I guess. So 10 fingers is 10 unique points of input. 10 mice are still going to share the same pointer unless you do something else. You have it set up maybe in Windows, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's the index for the input. And it's usable for if you want to know Maybe you have a touch down, you check and see if the pointer index is greater than two, and then maybe you ignore it. If you only want to allow one input, one finger to be on screen and ignore all other finger input, that would be a good use for this. So that's it. That's going to wrap up our Git pointer index node. It's mainly useful for touch and it's useful to know if you have more than one thing at the same time.